There are a few ways you can play Nintendo DS on your Switch. Today, we're going to be looking at the best way to play Nintendo DS on your Nintendo Switch. And today we're doing that with Android 10 on the Nintendo Switch. We're using the Drastic emulator, the standalone that you can download from the Play Store. It is like a $5 and change app, but it is worth every penny if you're looking for near-perfect DS emulation on just about every game you throw at it. Today we're going to be testing 28 games on the Drastic emulator, and we're going to see how they run. A couple things before we get started. The settings I used, I set frame script to automatic, and I set it to a value of four. Those were the only settings that I changed. Everything else was left in its default state. The Joy-Cons mapped out perfectly right from the jump. If you have to remap them for whatever reason, you can, but I didn't have to. Before we get into the gameplay, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of this emulation goodness. One other thing I wanted to mention, when you go into the Drastic Emulator and you load it, you'll notice that I have all the gameplay that you're gonna see, the two screens are on the display. You can play with it, rotate them, and, and do it pretty much however you like. I left it like this so everybody could see both screens, but you can switch to just the one primary or top screen if you prefer. Just an FYI for anyone who didn't know. Now, let's get into some DS emulation.
Well, the Jurassic Emulator has provided the best experience that I have had on the Nintendo Switch with DS emulation. I've tried almost everything. RetroArch on Android. I've tried RetroArch in Atmosphere. I've tried Melon DS standalone in Atmosphere. This by far is the best solution for Nintendo DS emulation on the Switch. Let me know down in the comment section if there's a particular game you want to see running on this setup. Let me know. I'll see what I can do to either incorporate it into another video or I'll just test it and let you know in the comment section how it ran. Well, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I hope it was enjoyable. I want to thank all of you for watching and I hope you all have a good day.